So my identity is verified. My address is verified because I've used the pin that Google sends to me. Then um, I'm still having this action required. That's something to check in your AdSense account for YouTube payment verification. All right. Imagine losing 30% of your total earning from YouTube or any of your monetized platform through Google AdSense account. That is too much. Like losing about $150 of every $500 you earn. This money will have been deducted from your earning even before paying you for the month. This is huge. YouTube is going to assume that you are from the United States and they are going to deduct 30% of the total earning. How do you avoid this? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can properly document your tax information in your AdSense account to avoid being charged. 30% earning is applied to those residing in the United States because this tax is being paid to the United States government. If you don't properly document your tax information, Google is going to automatically deduct 30% from your payment, assuming that you are in the United States. I'm going to be showing you how to properly document your tax information step by step to avoid this payment. Now, if you reside in a country that has a treaty with the United States, you may have to even pay lower taxes or never pay tax. When your tax is properly documented, 30% charge is going to only apply to your earnings from the United States and not from other regions. 30% is going to be deducted from the only earnings you get from the United States. And this is how to know the earnings you're getting from the United States. In your analytics, click on see more. Select the month from the date selector. Then click on Geography, add the revenue metrics to the column. So if you don't submit your tax info, 30% of the amount you see here will be deducted from your earnings. But if you submit it, 30% will be applied to only the revenue you earn from the United States, which is the amount you see here on your analysis. Me, let me show you how to properly document your tax information in your Google AdSense account. As you can see, this is my AdSense account. My identity has been properly verified and my address pin has just been verified as well. Then, but there's still a problem here. You can see action required as something to check in your AdSense for your YouTube payment account. So let's click on go to payment and see what the problem is, all right? So that we can fix it. So to make sure your payment is included in the next payment cycle, Please provide your tax information. This will take a few minutes. So guys, right here, we need to provide our tax information so that uh, YouTube will be able to charge us properly. If you don't properly document your tax, they are going to assume that you are from the US. So it is very, very important that you put in your tax information. If you are not from the US, they are going to charge you lower than 30% and then 30% from views you get from the United States. Okay? And possibly they they could even charge you no tax at all if your country has signed a tax treaty with the United States. Okay, so you make sure you put in this tax information for AdSense to be able to charge you properly. If you are not in the US, this is very necessary. But if you are in the US, then they're going to charge you 30%. Or even if you're not in the US, but you're getting most of your views from the US, you're certainly going to be paying 30% of every earning you get so that they can pay this tax to the US government. All right. So let's go ahead and fill up this tax information. We'll go ahead and click on update. Click on update. The next thing you want to do is to click on add tax info. So make sure you read this carefully. If you're okay with everything here, then you click on start tax form. So it is going to log you out and bring you back in just for proper authentication. So I'm going to log in again, just put in your password. I'm going to click on next to log in again, just for uh, re-authentication. It has brought us back into the page. The next thing we need to do is to uh, United States tax info. Now you need to choose if you are an individual or an organization, of course, I'm going to choose individual. Click on next. Are you a citizen or resident in the United States? If you live in the US, of course yes but i don't live in the us and i'm not from the us so i'm going to click on next so you scroll down here you need to choose based on your previous selected answer a w8 form is needed w8 form so this w8 ben 
this form is mostly commonly used by non-us individual and will also be used to claim tax treaty benefits so i'm not from the u.s i'll click on this one so click on start w8 bne form so here you're just going to see your details these are optional the important thing here is to choose your country of region of citizenship so i'm from nigeria i'm just going to scroll down to nigeria and choose of course nigeria well this is the very important this is the only important thing so as you can see all other ones are actually optional the country here is very important then your foreign team of course we are not from the us so this is none of our business we'll just click on next so here you just need to put in your address so you're going to put in your address so if your permanent if your mailing address is same as your permanent residence address just choose here and then you click on next here they are asking you the treaty tax treaty are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under a tax treaty so if you click on yes they are going to give you a list of countries to choose from and as you can see nigeria is not from this nigeria is not on this list that simply means that nigeria is not on any tax treaty with the united states all right so if your country has a treaty with the united states by choosing this yes option here it means that uh, you're you're going to pay lesser than 30 percent or your tax is going to be eliminated entirely you may not need to pay any tax if you can prove here that your country is actually in a treaty with the united states but if not you're going to pay tax okay tax will be deducted from your money all right so my country is not in on any treaty with the united states so i'm going to choose no what this means is that they're actually going to charge me lower than 30 percent but they're going to charge me for 30 percent for every view that i get from the united states so let's click on next so if this is your first time using this uh of course this is my first time using this it is asking if you have performed any activities for for google within the united states of course no just choose no then i certify that the services provided to google or its affiliates will perform solely outside the united states and that only labor or capital so we have not done anything in the united states so i'm just click on tax next so i'm just going to click on next then here is asking you uh how do you want to receive the information how do you want them to you know send you the documents so i just choose uh get document by mail of course i just want to get it by mail so i want to click on next this is a tax form that has been filled click on this i confirm that i have reviewed the generated tax documents to be to the best of my knowledge and believe they are true correct and complete all right so this is the w8 ben default form that you just filled uh you can actually open it and take a look but everything will field is very okay all right so i just click on next and then i'll accept this one then scroll down here you need to confirm that you are the owner of the account just click here and then your name is already here then just click on submit if you look at this you see that the form has been approved so that problem is no longer there the form has already been approved so you see your tax info for united states has been accepted look at it the, the the tax info has been accepted and will no longer have any issues congratulations your tax info status has been approved and you can now end from youtube if you're from the united states of course you'll be charged 30 percent of your earning but if you're not from the united states like myself you'll be charged far far lower than that however you'll be charged 30 percent of your earning from the united states if your country has a tax treaty with the united states then you may not have to pay any tax at all. This video is just about how to submit your tax info on your Google AdSense account. If you need further information relating to tax, then you may need to contact a tax expert. I've also included a link to the Google tax information page. You may want to take a look and read more about tax information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please drop it in the comment section. If this video is helpful to you, please drop a comment on the comment section. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and share this video so that it can reach more persons. 
thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video